I don't know if you all could tell, but I just woke up. And I have a German quiz soon, and I am cramming for that. So just finished studying or cramming for the German quiz. And I am now packing the dress I'm going to wear for my performance in the afternoon. So since I live off campus, the only thing is when I have a performance, usually I have to bring my dresses. And so I have this coat hanger that I like to put it in so it doesn't get so wrinkled. Well, it's kind of wrinkled now, but I'm bringing this handheld um, steamer to uh, to take out like the wrinkles. And I'm excited to be wearing my Philippine Yana today. I thought it was a great idea because I'm singing a Filipino classical song today. And so I thought it would be nice to wear my Filipino Yana for that to represent the culture. <laughs> So we just finished German class. Hi. This is Montes and this is Julio. Hello. They are other singers. They are my friends. And at the end of the class, we were looking at Schubert's Elkernig. Yeah. I thought that was really fun. So I got the meal from the school. It's chicken wings, and I got some macaroni, and I think this is like a Thai coconut soup. So we're having lunch now. And then later, we're gonna have our vocal performance lab. So, vocal performance lab is where sometimes we have like studio classes or some of us perform. And Julio is also performing today. How do you feel? Uh, I'm kind of nervous, to be honest. What are you singing? I'm singing as Alta Merkin from Dick Jolly by Shaman. What are you singing? I'm singing, well, I'm singing a Filipino song. I'm singing Ang Maya by Jose Estela, and I'm excited to be singing. the one you did in the recital? Yes, it's the one oh, I did in the recital. That's so beautiful. Thank oh you, God. thank you. They don't have to be submerged in water all the time because they do have a good, like, okay. So I thought that was an onion, but apparently it's not. It's a. Um, Hyson. Hyson. But it doesn't look like an but onion. It relates to onions. I've studied them in Bible. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, we had a lot of oh, arguments. So. <laughs> so now I'm getting ready for the performance and I'm going to put on my makeup. So the first step when I do makeup is I put a lip balm. I like to use um, Dr. Pow Pow. It's a multi purpose soothing balm with natural Pow Pow. And also, you can use this for your cheeks too if you want. And then I like to use a primer. I like to use the Covermark. It's a lasting makeup base, and what's nice is that there's also an SPF in it. And then I put concealer. I like to use Tarte. It's called the Ultra creamy shape tape. So I just put it on here. And then I put some cover mark um, foundation. It's nice because it's waterproof and I like how it's like a creamy type of foundation. Using Cover Mark again, I like to use their powder foundation. Kind of evens everything up. Now for the eyebrows. For me, I think where I have um, a giant time to do the eyebrows because I feel like I can accidentally make it too thick or too thin. After using brow pencils, I like using brow setters. 
so these two are from Benefit. And so I put the transparent one first. This fashion dip really nice when it makes uh, really makeup much easier for sure. And then I put some concealer to kind of clean up the brows now that it's dry for a little bit. The little hack I do is I actually put some lipstick on my cheeks because I like the color of, or I like this lipstick is nice. It's um, it's called Girly, oh, girl. It's called Girl Crush, and it's from Sunny's Face. I got this in the Philippines, and I really love this brand. I also put some of the lipstick on my eyes, which is kind of funny, but. I just really like the color of this lipstick. Or like, I like how it's like a nice and base for eyeshadow. So I do put a very dark shade of red, but that's just because I don't have pink. So I use red and then I put like this glittery, like white, um, white shadow layer. So it's very trust the process. <laughs> I use more like, blush or basically lipstick to also contour my nose. Now my favorite part is putting the glitter. So as you can see it lightens the red. So now we did the eyeliner and then the eyelashes. I put also a second coat of mascara. This white powder helps like your eyeliner mascara not go under your eye. And yeah, I'll take this out and that'll be look. What are you doing, Alia? I'm steaming. I'm steaming my dress. <laughs> so before VPO, um, I'm warming up, just doing some. And yeah. And I still have the crazy um, white powder under my eyes still. <laughs> <laughs> Muktus is helping me out with my dress. <laughs> I've arrived home and I plan to film a reaction video and practice a little bit or do some homework. Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this short vlog. That's the end of the video. I hope you all enjoyed. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and thank you everyone for all your support. Bye friends!